Hello everyone and how are you doing today? My name is Mr. Oba and I hope you are having a lovely day. In the previous lesson we talked about plants and today our topic is animals. Animals are living things just like plants. They are living things because they can move from one point to another, they can grow, they feed and unfortunately they also die. So animals are living things. So we have wild animals and domestic animals. Wild animals are animals that are dangerous. They can't be kept in the house. A good example of wild animals is the lion. Can you see the picture of the lion here? The lion is a good example of a wild animal. Also the crocodile. The crocodile is a wild animal. We have different types of wild animals. We have tigers, elephants, so they cannot be kept in the house because they are dangerous. We also have domestic animals. Domestic animals are animals that can live and grow with us humans in our homes. So domestic animals example is cats. A cat can live with humans in, in the home. Also we've got dog. So dog is an example of a domestic animal. We've got birds, you know, some fish can be put in an aquarium in the home. So a good example of domestic animal is the cat and dog. Why? Because they can live with humans in our homes. So we are going to be talking about important features of some common animals. Now, this is what a snail looks like. And when you see a snail, you see the shell. So this is an important feature of the snail, the shell. And what do they use the shell for? The shell protects them from predators. The shell protects them from other animals. So the snail has a shell. Also, when you see a lizard, a lizard has tail and um, the tail helps them to balance when they are moving so when you see a lizard you see the tail also when you see fish you see the fins and the scales fish have fins and scales and the fins help them to swim in water while the scales protect them so fish have fins and scales when you see a cock you see their feathers and their wings and the feathers help them it insulates them from ash weather conditions so it protects them and the wings help them to fly yeah cocks do fly but the thing is that they don't fly for long like other birds but they've got wings and they can fly a pig has four legs and the four legs help them to move from one place to another and also you can see the picture of the butterfly butterfly has antennas you can see the antennas here so butterfly has antennas and they have wings so the antennas help them to sense it helps them to sense things and the wings help them to fly. So these are important features of some common animals. And we've talked about the snail, the shell, lizard, tail, um, fish, fins and scales, cock, feathers and wings, pig, four legs, butterfly, antenna and wings. So I want you to look at your you know, environment and look for common animals in your environment and tell your parents what their common features are. Thank you once again for joining us today. Hope you are having a lovely day. Bye-bye.